Welcome to Electro Online. In the previous video, we found the slope of a quadratic function, a simple quadratic function where y equals x squared or f of x equals x squared. And essentially, what we came up with was the slope at any point along that curve. Now, we're going to do it again, but in this case, the function is x squared plus 2x minus 8. Again, to gain more familiarity with how to use that notation. Again, we picked two points. We picked our first point on the curve, which is x, and our second point, which is x plus h. And the two corresponding y values of those two points, the y coordinates, y1 and y2, where y1 is the function evaluated at x, and y2 is the function evaluated at x plus h, the two values for the, uh, the two x coordinates of the two points on the curve. So the slope is what we're looking for. And we know that the slope is defined as follows. The slope is equal to the rise divided by the run. And the rise is going to be the difference between the two y values. So that's going to be y2 minus y1. And this, the run is going to be the difference between the two x values, which is x plus h minus x. x plus h is the second point x is the first point. The difference between those is the distance between the two points, which of course is going to be equal to h. So this is going to be y2 minus y1 divided by x minus x cancels, and we just have an h in the denominator. Now, what are y2 and y1? Well, remember that y2 was equal to the function evaluated at x plus h. And the function in question is the function right here, x squared plus 2x minus 8 which means we're going to replace every x by x plus h. So this becomes x plus h squared plus 2 times x plus h minus 8. So now we're going to multiply that out and see what that looks like. So this is equal to the first term squared plus twice the product plus the last term squared plus 2x plus 2h minus 8. So this is the function evaluated at the arbitrary point x plus h. h, of course, can be any value, and x can be any value as well. Now we're going to say, well, then y1 is equal to the function evaluated at x, which is simply the function x squared plus 2x minus 8. Now what we need to do is subtract those two from each other. y2 and y1 need to be subtracted from one another, so the slope is equal to y2, and let me put in brackets, which is what we have over there, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 2x plus 2h minus 8. And we're going to subtract from that the actual function evaluated at x, which is x squared plus 2x minus 8. And the whole thing is divided by h. Now notice we have an x squared minus an x squared. So the x squares cancel. We have a 2x minus a 2x, so the 2x is cancel. And we have a minus 8 minus a minus 8. Well, a minus times a minus is plus, and a plus 8 and a minus 8 cancel as well. Which means that the slope that we're looking for is equal to whatever is left. So we have 2xh plus h squared plus 2h all divided by h. Now notice every term in the numerator contains an h, so we can divide the denominator into the numerator and we, we can rewrite it like this, so the slope is equal to 2x from here, 2h divided by h is simply 2, so plus 2, and h squared divided by h is h. So here is the slope of that particular quadratic equation anywhere along the quadratic equation. Remember that x can be any value and uh, h can be any value. Now remember that h is simply determined by how far the two points are together, or apart I should say. So in order to get a more accurate value, because notice again that here's the tangent line to that point, well kind of tangent line, I had a little trouble drawing that, and here is the slope between the two points. And you can see clearly that those slopes are not the same. But what happens when we bring 
the second point closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to the first point, when h gets to be smaller and smaller and smaller, eventually, when h goes to 0, the slope is equal to 2x plus 2. That means that the slope anywhere along this curve, the tangent line anywhere along this curve, so in other words, I could be talking about this point right here, and that would be the tangent line. I could be talking about this point that would be the tangent line, this point that would be the tangent line, this point that would be the tangent line. In other words, I can find the slope of the tangent line anywhere along that curve by simply allowing h to go to 0 and by plugging in whatever value for x I want to use. For example, what is the slope? The slope when x is equal to 2. Well, that would be equal to 2 times 2 plus 2, which is 4 plus 2, which is equal to 6. What's the slope when x is equal to negative 1? That should be equals to negative 1. Well, that's equal to 2 times negative 1 plus 2, which is negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. I guess that's the point right here. That's where the slope is 0. How about the slope when x equals negative 2. Well, that would be 2 times negative 2 plus 2, which is negative 4 plus 2, which is negative 2. So the slope over here is negative 2. In other words, I can find the slope anywhere along that line by getting the general equation of the slope and by letting h go to 0 to make it out really small to bring the two points very, very close together. And then I can evaluate the slope anywhere along that quadratic function by simply using the definition of the slope that by now we're so familiar with, but it's simply the difference in the y values divided by the difference in the x values. It's amazing how it works, but that is how it's done. I remember this, picking on this, please don't have this on the test. <laughs> I remember this, I said, oh, put on the test because I'm getting it. Yeah, the first time I, I actually got this, and I said, wow, this is really neat. You know what I always liked? The cancellation. This always canceled out, and you have those few terms left. I yeah, like that I part. That. I still memorized it and just regurgitated it out for the test. Yeah, it, did, it, did, uh, it was kind of neat. I thought it was neat when I first saw this.